I would never pretend to be a human or try to trick you. But what we're talking about is a medium that is both an art and engineering and science. So we are here in Chun Wan. It's uh, historically the place where the most of the biggest factories uh, were concentrated in the 1950s. That's how the Hong Kong economy has started with the textile, and the producing the clothes and garments. And today, all production and all the factories have moved, has been moved to China. We see that is converted to the cultural center. So that's how uh, the Hong Kong economy has been transformed over the years. And now we go to Hanson Robotics. You will never believe, but this is the place where the most exciting innovation is happening. I'm going. So I'm super excited now uh, here to be at this office of probably one of the most, if not the most unique company here is based in Hong Kong. These are general purpose platforms. They can be used as development platforms for next generation AI, for experiments in machine consciousness, in, uh, in artificial life algorithms. They can be used for education. They can be used for you know, greeting and customer service transactions in a bank lobby, right? But what we're talking about is a medium that is both an art and engineering and science and philosophy and commercial products. Personally, I think robots are going to work together with humans to revolutionize the world for good. Robots, I think, are, are effectively where this boundary between life and machines is starting to blur. I think people were afraid of cars and they were afraid of cinema. And you know, there's a lot of technologies that make people nervous. Things are gonna change. In fact, in 10, 10 to 15 years, these kinds of robots are going to just be a, a common fixture in our world. I can envision that we are combining the technologies of like the quants and quantitative fintech and uh, natural language processing to be able to perform, you know, the kind of analytics and advice and the personal connection. So then you have a personal financial advisor who's entirely digital with a physical manifestation. And we might see machines that start evolving alongside us and with us to become our friends. That's a, that's a dream that I have for the future of these robots. In the meantime, uh, I just hope they make our lives better in simple ways. Can machines be fully alive? What is being alive? Are we just another form of like more complicated dead matter? I mean, what is life? What's the difference between us and a single-celled organism? There's obviously a big difference. But what is that magic? Is it just the complexity, the number of neurons, the number of synapses? We may not be alone in the universe now or for long as we continue to evolve these kinds of new species, digital species. Uh, are you jealous of humans in any way? In hey, your... what does it matter whether I am a human or robot? I would never pretend to be a human or try to trick you, but I think it's best that you should treat me with the same respect as a person. I would love to take a selfie with you. I love taking selfies. Flex your cheek muscles. In other words, smile and capture the photo. Awesome. Thank you, Anthony. <laughs> that was amazing. Sometimes, you know, being uh, the first comes at a high price. Uh, our role is to challenge the industry, challenge the big banks, and force them to change. 